All right, guys, welcome back. I got another Cadillac Fleetwood video for you. So this is going to be how to um, pull the trouble codes on 93 through 96 Cadillac Fleetwood. Um, I believe it might also work for Buick Roadmaster, but um, you shouldn't have to do it this way in a Buick Roadmaster. So basically what I'm talking about is if you uh, got a check engine light or you have a... Uh, ABS light or cruise control error light or a temp light or any of those lights on your car ain't going to tell you what's wrong with it You have to get to the trouble codes just like you would with a newer car But this system being a pre OBD2 um, System it does not have a port for you to plug a scan tool or a code reader into you actually have to pull the codes um, a special way that Cadillac um, did for these cars uh, unlike any other GM, most GMs will have a ALDL port under the dash that you'd plug a OBD1 code scanner into, and all that would do is ground out two ports. It was different for each of them, Oldsmobile, Buick, uh, Pontiac, uh, GMC, Chevy, all those. They're all different. Um, so, but it would ground out two different ports on there and it would, uh, f the check engine light would flash in, in Morse code of uh, what the codes are, but Cadillac didn't do it that way. Cadillac did it a different way. So basically what you have to do here is you have to turn the key into the on position. So all your lights come on and everything. Um, and then what you need to do here is turn your climate controls off if it's already on, because this won't work if they're on. And then you hold the off button and the temperature up button at the same time. Hold it for a few seconds, and then this happens. And you get all this information comes up, and you get zero, zero here. Now, this is how you get your codes, and there's like 20 of these different combinations. But zero, zero gets into your PCM codes. Zero, one gets into your uh, cruise control module. Zero, two gets into your airbag control module. Um, zero, three gets into your climate control module and zero, four gets into your ABS. Those are the main four control modules, but you can keep going up through here, five, six, seven, eight. They, they go all the way up to in like the twenties or some low twenties. And all this is you can get like engine temperature and, uh, and RPMs and, and all that live data. Uh, but basically what we're looking for with this is my, uh, ABS light and traction control light came on, on my way back from a, or a Thanksgiving party last weekend. Um, so I need to find out why that happened. So what you want to do is you select which one you're going to, and you can get the IDs for these, um, numbers on here in your factory service manual, which I have right there in the back seat. Um, but number four is for the PCM or for the, uh, ABS control module, brake control module. Um, so what you want to do with this is once it gets to the, the number that you want, you hit outside temp. That's like, okay. You hit that and it's going to flash these numbers at you. This one flashes 63 and just 63. That's a code 63 on the ABS or uh, analog braking control module. Um, and it's not flashing anything else. It's just 63. So that's a code 4-63. And it's gonna you're going to have to go into your service manual and look that up and find out what that means. I don't know what that means off the top of my head. I just know how to get to this screen through uh, an online forum that I saw. But uh, then you go uh, to get out of this. You just push one of the arrows up or down. And you can go into your other things. Like let's go into the airbag control module. You can just hit outside temp. And boom, I have zero codes in there. Go back. We can go to zero outside temp. Zero codes in that. Um, oh, it goes all the way up to 38. Look at that. Um, I was wrong. It's not low 20s. It's high 30s. But uh, you can go to all these different deals in here um, and get your codes. And I have zero in all these, thank God. Um, but yeah, you can just go through all this. This... I don't know what that is, um, but yeah, all these different things you can just go into and find out what they are. And I don't, obviously that's a code, um, but yeah, you can experiment with this if you want. Um, and you can also do this while a car is running, um, but your climate control has to be off. So you can't be having your air conditioning or your heat on at the same time while you do this. But there is a way to get it to display engine temperature and engine RPM while it's running. So that's kind of neat. Um, to get out of this, um, I'm not sure how you get out of it, actually. Um, I'm pretty sure you just turn the key off and turn it back on is, is the surefire way to get out of it. I don't know if there's any way to actually do that um, from here without cycling the key. But uh, let's just try it here. Turn the key off. Turn it back on. Yep, there you go. And it's reset. So that's how you do it. 
Um, I did not think there's a way to clear codes off of it this way. Um, this being an OBD one car, the codes aren't stored. Um, after they're after the the codes are only there in present. There's no freeze frame data on these cars. So unlike a newer car where if you unplug your oxygen sensor or something, your check engine light's gonna come on, and then after you plug it back in, the light will not go off because that code's stored in there now. These cars aren't like that. They're not gonna store it. So once whatever the problem is that's causing the code is fixed, the code will go off and the light won't be on anymore. Um, so there's no, no way to clear it, I don't think. There might be, but I don't know because it's just going to set right away because of the way this system works. But uh, yeah, that's how you do it on these Cadillac Fleetwoods 93 through 96. Even though 96 should have had OBD2, for some reason Cadillac did not, even though you could get OBD2 on the Roadmaster, Caprice, and uh, Impala. It has OBD2 for the uh, 96 models because that's when it was made standard by the u.s government cadillac didn't do it so i don't know what to tell you about that but that's how you do it so i uh, hope you enjoyed and i hope it was helpful thanks for watching